I could see that Heather's death had meaning in the world, that her death had purpose. But boy, I was not happy to be the one to have to make that sacrifice. It was a year ago Sunday that Susan Bro lost her daughter. Heather Heyer was in Charlottesville, Virginia, marching against white supremacists when a car plowed into a crowd of people killing the 32-year-old. Now, as the anniversary of that grim event approaches, Susan is channeling her grief and spreading the same message that her daughter was so passionate about. But first, a warning. Some of our viewers may find the visuals in this story disturbing. Other people have certainly survived losing a child to murder, and other people have certainly survived losing a child in a public situation. So I'm not unique. Um, my case is not particularly special, except that I think people were shocked that Nazis were still going to murder people. There's high school graduation. Heather Heyer was much more than a paralegal. She was one of the thousands who gathered to take a stand against the so-called Unite the Right rally that drew hundreds of white supremacists and neo-Nazis to Charlottesville. <laughs> Ultimately, Heather was in the wrong place at the wrong time when that car came barreling into the crowd. Susan made a promise to her daughter at her funeral when she saw her bruised and broken body for the first time. She had a big lump across her forehead. Her long, beautiful hair had been cut off. They had a shower cap on, I guess. The skull had probably been opened. And uh, she had bruises all up and down her arm. She had on a hospital gown. And her teeth were not quite in the right place. And I held her hand and I said, I'm gonna make this count. James Alex Fields Jr. was allegedly behind the wheel of that car. The 21-year-old reputed Hitler admirer is charged with murder, along with dozens of federal hate crime charges. Reminders of Heather's life remain throughout Charlottesville, but also still standing, a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee, a reminder of a dark chapter in U.S. history. The anniversary, I think it's important that the country take another look at what caused the issues. Statues are simply a symbol of what's wrong and um, you may have different feelings one way or the other about the statues, but look at the deeper issues beneath. U.S. President Donald Trump faced intense criticism following his response to the violence in Charlottesville. You'll remember he said there are very fine people on both sides of the rally. Now, demonstrations are planned all across the U.S. on Sunday, but all eyes will be on Trump's house, the White House, where white nationalists are planning to hold a rally. And get this, there are reports that the D.C. transit system was even considering reserving a car just for Unite the Right participants to keep them separate to avoid the violence. But that idea has not been turned down.